Hello, I'm Ben from Black Country Metalworks, and this is our very heavy, solid cast brass Athens armillary. And I'm just going to show you this is how the armillary would arrive. So I'm just going to show you how it would be assembled. So if you just twist the main band round, that twists round, this then drops down, and this is then ready for the arrow to be slotted through. Now the arrow, the total length is 62 centimetres from end to end, and so that, that is effectively the armillary at its widest point. So that's dropped through there. You can attach the arrow at the end. And the arrow does lock off and held in position by a small brass screw there, which I can just tighten. Now, there are two fixing points at the base of the Athens armillary. They're suitable for use with masonry, screws and raw plugs just to hold it into position, whether it be a column or a tree stump or something similar to that. Um, throughout the band, if I just twist that round, you can see there are Roman numerals that run from one side of the band to the other. And in order to position the um, Athens armillary correctly, if you were to go outside at midday, if you were to keep rotating the armillary until the, the sun shines through the arrow and the shadow is cast directly through the, the 12 o'clock position and then leave the armillary for an hour, you'll then revisit and the sun will have either passed towards the 1 or to the 11. If it's passed towards the 11, all you need to do is simply rotate the armillary 180 degrees and you'll then find that the shadow is cast over the 1. Thank you.